Hello, this is Brother Poole. Well, I decided I better create a brand new video uh, on how to create an AdWords account. Google has once again updated the way they've done things. Um, they update all the time. So even though I'm creating this today, probably by tomorrow it'll already be outdated. But let me show you because I just had a student that called them and they said that now they absolutely require you have to have a working domain before you set up a Google AdWords account. This is actually not correct. Um, there is a way to do it without it and I'm going to show you that. Now you have to be a little bit tricky and it's kind of what I mentioned earlier. It's all about being resourceful. But let me show you how to do it. So first off you have to, you have, to have a Gmail account. So I'm going to go ahead and go into Gmail and I'm going to just create a test account. So I'm going to come up here. I'm just going to put in some some junk information. I'm going to put in pool here, uh, username. I'm just going to do uh, the letter J A S D F pool J, and then put in a password. Okay, just throw in some information here. All right, um, gonna leave that blank. Put in a current address. I don't really use this one, so please don't email me at brother.pool, bro.pool. I will not get it, uh, but that's just one I have. Um, okay, I'm gonna say I agree. Click next step. Yes, yeah. Okay. Click no thanks. And my email account's created. I can go to Gmail and I have a Gmail account. Once you have a Gmail account, what you've got to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you this in case you're not already signed on in your Gmail account. I'm going to click sign out. Then I'm going to come over to Google. Alright, so I'm a, oh, Google. So I'm going to type in Google AdWords. If I can spell. Alright, Google AdWords. I'm going to click on AdWords. Now I'm going to come down here and click on Start Now. You'll notice I'm not signed in. I'm just going to click Start Now. You can do this signed in. It's actually quicker if you're signed in, but I'll show you this. So, oh, you know what? Interesting. It's interesting. It showed me something totally different just a minute ago. So maybe they're split testing something, but I'm going to show you this anyways. You see where it says skip the guided setup? You're going to go ahead and click that. If you get this screen, that's what you're going to do. You're going to cl click skip the guided setup. When you do that, it's going to take you right here to this page. Now, um, they did mention they were able to get here. Let, let's go ahead and just try to fill this out. Uh, let's go ahead and just say enter your email address because I'm not signed in. So I'll create, the, I'll use the one I just created. Okay. And now it tells me next I'll have to sign in before setting up my first campaign. So now I'm going to go ahead and select my time zone. Now remember, you can't change your time zone and your currency type after you've created your account. So make sure your time zone is set correctly. And if you're in Mexico or another country, make sure you select the currency you want to use or else uh, you can't change it and you have to create a new account. All right, so now that I'm here, it's going to make me sign in. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in. All right, so now it's going to take me to... Um, let's see... Oh, you know what? See, this time, okay, here we go. So it's going to take me to this page right here. Now, it says now I've got to create my first campaign. I've got to choose my budget, create my ads. It's telling me, and I enter my billing information, that I've got to do everything. And if you click on create your first campaign, it's going to ask you for a valid domain name, all this type of stuff. Ignore everything down here. Just don't even click on it for right now. Instead, look at the very top. You're going to see Home Campaign Opportunities and Tools. Click on Tools, then come down to Keyword Planner. By doing click Keyword Planner, 
I am now in the tool and I can already tell you that they have changed this just since last semester. The keyword planner is different. So that's why you're going to have to kind of use your abilities to search around and kind of figure things out because even as I'm creating this video right now, they're changing things all the time. In fact, they changed it. It looked different from when I tried it just five minutes ago. So they could be split testing it, who knows. But what I'm going to do here is this kind of gives you an idea. Search new keywords for a phrase. I'm going to click that here. And then let's say, because uh, one of your, one of your uh, assignments is going to have you looking at snowboards to determine whether it makes sense to sell them. So I'm going to say snowboard. Uh, just leave everything else default for right now. Click get ideas. When you get to get ideas, make sure that you don't look at ad group ideas. You want keyword ideas. So you're going to click on keyword ideas. And there now you see your competition, high, medium, low for it. You've seen your average searches, your suggested dollars. So this gives you all the information you need to complete your assignments. So I hope this helps a little bit. Um, and remember, if you call Google AdWords and they tell you something that doesn't seem to make sense or they tell you you can't do something, you may want to wait five minutes, call back, and talk to somebody else. Um, that's just my experience. Or post on the discussion boards or shoot me an email, and I'll be glad to see what I can do to help. All right. Thanks so much. Have a good day. Bye.